Yeah, map see. three. Map three gets it. Let's see if map four holds. I'm curious now. <laughs> Putting that thing back in comfort mode. <laughs> oh What's up, guys? Javier from That Racing Channel. Welcome back to another episode. We are in Texas at TX2K24. And behind me, we have some of the baddest BMWs on the planet. Behind me, we got Jazz. He's with the Shop CT. They brought some A90s and the new hot thing on the market the M240 X-Drive. This thing makes upwards of 1,500 wheel horsepower to all four wheels. That's all wheel drive, inline six, 74 millimeter turbo, fully maxed out. Like these things are cranked. This thing went 7.9 at 175. We're gonna check out the full rundown on the build. Now we're gonna go for a drive, see what this thing's all about. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. In case you didn't hear, we're giving you guys the opportunity to win the TRC 2JZ S14 or Turbo S2000 plus 10,000 in cash. We have some awesome new merch on the site. It's all in stock and ready to ship. And don't miss our limited time only 10 times bonus entry offer. Any purchase you make on thatracingchannel.com will automatically get you entered to win one of these badass TRC builds. Now let's get back into the action and get back to today's video. Jazz, what's up, brother? What's happening, man? Good to see you, dude. Likewise, likewise. Yeah, man, you got the beautiful BMW. This is like the hot platform right now, bro. This thing's making stupid power. You said, what? Yeah, 14, 1500, 1500 horsepower. 15, 1500. That, that's pretty insane, dude. It is, man. It definitely is a ride on the road and on the track, man. Cutting 1260s. 1260s. Yes, sir. 125. That's wild, man. I heard this thing's been 60 to 130. 288 is so far when we ran 80. In the twos is pretty nutty, man. That's like. You know, usually just like Lambo, Crazy Vipers, R8s, like GTR territory. Right? Exactly, man. <laughs> this is on a nearly full weight car waist, 3510 with me in it, and a little bit more than nearly half a tank of gas. I know you, I think you set a record yesterday, right? Did, we reset the world record. It went uh, 794 at 100, a little over 175 miles an hour. I mean, that's, that's pretty insane, man. Well, yeah, dude, pop the hood for us. Yeah. Let's do a walk around, get to learn a little bit about this badass build. All right, so we got a B58. Yes, sir, it's a B58 uh, Stage X, 3.2 uh, liter. It's a stroker motor from Viscani, Viscani engine. It has a KLM Savage kit with the 70, uh, Precision 7480 on it and the new uh, CSF Race X manifold on it as well. So this is basically like an all-wheel drive Supra. It, exactly, it's <laughs> near the same wheelbase, it's just all-wheel drive with a little bit less uh, aerodynamics. What do, you, what do you need to do to make this happy, right? A lot of air and a lot of fuel, man. <laughs> and a badass transmission. Thanks for Chris Miller at Pure Drive Train Solution. He makes, right now we have the latest and greatest transmission that he has as the billet, uh, hubs, baskets, a whole bunch of new friction materials he's trying out. He literally sends it out so we could try it. And so far, we're the only one in the seven seconds with this new transmission right now, currently, and drives just like stock. What has to be done to, you know, the, the, the long block, essentially, the bottom end, the, the head, like, what, what's, give us a, a rundown as much as you can. So these are stock blocks. We don't have a lot of information, but I will give out the information I do know. So these are a fire lock engine. So it's not a float ring, so it has a receiver groove and it has a, an actual stainless steel ring that's in there that seals with the head and, uh, and the block. It has some high tensile, high pressure bolts. I don't know what exactly he uses, but they're in the back of the motor that he uses them as well. And we're on Kelford C cams with a ported head. It's honestly just basic, but at the same time, it's not basic at the same time. R&D. Correct, tons of R&D, tons yeah. of R&D. Where we started four years ago with the platform to where we are now, the motors, we started with piston rod motors and no cams and no porting to 
custom spec pistons, high compression motors, where we are now. Yeah. We're daily driving seven second cars. It's awesome to see how much the platform with the B58 has progressed. You know, like in the, in the earlier days, people were having uh, trouble with like head gaskets and like, you know, all yeah. sorts of stuff like that. Um, but seeing it push, I mean, you guys have been pushing this thing hard. Tons, man. We're running fit near 50 pounds of boost. It's 49 pounds of boost. Mikey runs 52, 53 pounds of boost. Same motor, same turbo. Um, so we definitely have a little more room to grow, get in the 780s, hopefully. That's awesome. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll see a 780 this weekend. Yeah, and it still has a stock fuel system, too. Factory fuel system, factory high pressure pump, factory DI injectors, factory low pressure pump in there. Wow. So we just added port injectors and th three pumps in there, just feeding it fuel. Engine management? Uh, stock ECU on ECU Tech. Uh, two by Mikey Body. We both tag teamed the car together, bouncing ideas off of it. What all has to be done to the drivetrain? You guys doing axles? Correct. So we actually have Supra axles since this is basically a Supra. So we have Supra rear axles, DSS axles, um, stock front axles, uh, Vargas, PST, uh, drive shaft, carbon drive shaft, stock rear end, and that's pretty much it. And the pure drivetrain solutions. So now, pretty much at this point, you can just kind of off the shelf, bolt on all these parts on one of these things. Correct, yep, everything's obtainable, literally. You just order Viscani an engine, contact KLM for a turbo kit <laughs> and a fuel system and that's so that's wild. It, man. I love it, man. I love it. You wanna fire it up for us? Yeah, of course. Dude, this thing is so gangster. Alright guys, so don't get me wrong. I like the new Supras. I mean obviously I'm a, I'm a I'm a Mark IV, I'm a Mark IV lover, but I love the new Supras, but this just does it for me. Like something about this true BMW four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Man, so freaking cool. Hope you guys are walking around. You got the Bellix all around. Looks so aggressive. Something about a, a BMW on beadlocks just does it for me. Love it, dude. Love it. I don't know about you, but. I'm ready to go for a ride. I'm ready as well. You want to do this thing? Let's go, man. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so we're going for a spin in the world's quickest, right? Quickest world's, and fastest. World's quickest and fastest BMW. That's wild, dude. It is, it is. With the, let's clarify, with the factory motor. Factory motor. And transmission. Actually a BMW. Correct. <laughs> so time to see what this thing's all about. Um, it's obviously not on 1500 right now because it wouldn't hook. So it just got a little bit turned down, but it's going to party. So I guess we can try like a like a rolling hit. Yeah, uh, we'll try. Subaru guy, bro. And, and li listen though, listen though. 
we still got AC, don't we? AC, radio, <laughs> look at this. Cruise control, bro. Oh my Cruise gosh. control with lane departure, everything, navigation. This is insane. I, I'd be willing to bet this thing could probably get close to doing a two seconds, 60 to 130 on the street. Probably. Because, dude, this thing, I mean, while it was like, it was dancing, this thing didn't just spin the tire. This thing was freaking Absolutely. training, bro. And this is on a 15 inch conversion also. Yeah, my blood's bumping after that one. It is, my, yo, oh, yours. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, this thing absolutely gets a massive TRC approved stand, bro. I appreciate 100%. that. 100%. You guys, honestly, you guys did a phenomenal job. Yeah, it's all built by the shop CT, all assembled. Jimmy called me, the owner called me a couple times for some help, guidance. I flew over there, helped them do a little things here and there. And here we are, man. It's an incredible car, bro. A good bang for your buck, man, for a $40,000 car. And now it's a seven second monster. So what's the, I guess, what's the rest of the plan for the weekend? You guys are you guys are competing in drag racing? Yeah, we're in the A90 class. Yeah, we got the blessing from Peter that could keep going rounds because yesterday somebody called me off to the side and told me I couldn't uh, keep going without a parachute. So he says, as long as I don't go over 180 miles an hour, I don't need a parachute and I can keep going. So okay, nice. You're going 175, so. Yep, 175. All right, so you're, you're A90 qualified number two, right? Yes, qualified okay. number two. Mikey's number one uh, with the 7.8. I'm with the 7.9. Justin Lazarus with the 7.9 also. So it's a very, very tight class. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Dude, well, good luck. Thank you, bro. Thank Appreciate you so much. much for taking the time to take me for a spin, because this, this is honestly like a really great experience, man. I'm happy you could experience the same thing we all get to experience. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, I've, I've been in a lot of fast this is very unique. I don't think you've ever been to anything B58, right? I've never seen I, you do a super I, interview. So we have, but it was making like, this was when they first came out. It was making like 600, single turbo. So nothing like this. This is without a doubt the fastest B58 anything BMW, period. Yeah, because like, you did Mikey's interview back when at PBIR years ago. This is yep. 2020, 2020 actually. Yeah, something like that. And the car was going world record 8.8. Mm -hmm. I didn't ride in it though. No, you just did an outside we, we, review. We shot that car running the record. Yep. And uh, and yeah, so this is this is a hundred percent the fastest BMW period. B58, We've gone almost BMW, a whole second whatever. faster since you did that interview. A whole second faster. That's insane, guys. Thanks for tagging along. We'll uh, we'll catch you in the next one.